The next phase of it, as we start building into it here, what happens when that D-man walks the middle of the ice? So he's starting to move here. So we know where that D-man is. He's outside the dot line, so F1's job is to get in lane and go with him. So he's working across. That pass gets made from inside the dot line. So everything kind of revolves around dot line. You're starting to hear the trend and see the trend here. Um, so once that pass is made, F1's job is to follow it. So as quick as he can, we want him to change sides and we want him to pressure down that far side while his partner holds the middle of the ice. So his partner's job in the middle is to not allow any seam. And this is where the important part of um, understanding your partner, knowing what you're trying to accomplish, you want to make sure you put yourself in a position where we still have pressure, but we're not giving up any seams coming through here. This clip keeps coming. It's identical again. Outside the dot line, we know whose responsibility that is. He's going to keep coming with the defenseman. Pass made from the middle of the ice. He's going to follow his pass while his partner holds the middle so there is no seam available. And we're going to continue to pressure that down as hard as we can so they don't have time on that flanker. And we do a really good job up top. Now, this is where it gets a little bit more tricky. So 